a bit about um, a video about brands actually. Brands. Well, it's sound domain now, don't know a bit about that. So, it's following on from the previous video. If you own a business, you need to type in your brand. If you, for example, if you own a .co.uk website address, right? Now, I think .co.uk is out of date anyway. Because just like you're like dot fr or dot is France or dot de is German. You haven't got dot co dot de or dot co dot u e f r. But in the UK we've got dot co dot uk. I think dot co dot uk is actually. I think it will, uh, well, I think it will, less people will use, less businesses will use it. And that goes to .uk, and then you've got .uk.com, .u.com, I don't even know why that's the, so you only need to use dot, if you're in the UK, you want only UK business only, you don't need a .com, do you? Um, you just need .uk, and if you want .com, there's no need to have a .uk, is there, because you're a global business. But, if you're a business, and you've got a keyword to set up right, two keyword dot com or do two keyword dot go to UK. You don't need the hyphen in the middle. One word hyphen another word dot co dot UK. You just need a GTLD, your brand dot the service sector or industry you're in. GTLD, there's 1200 plus, and there's going to be a load more issued as well. So, there'll be many, I don't know, 1200 plus, could be 1500, could be 2000 GTLDs. What? Why do you need a dot code at your camera dot com? When if you're saying like you could be into plumbing, yeah, and there is a dot plumbing GTLD extension. So, if you had a brand dot plumbing, it's better than dot plumbing, it's better than dot code at your camera dot com, isn't it? To a plumber. Or dot cleaning, um, whatever. Yeah, this is this twelve hundred. I could just no end of them. Um, that'd be my next. I think I'm making I'm making another video on that. Um, how many can, how many new GTLDs can I reel off without looking at? I'm not looking at a screen, so I don't know. I'm not looking at a computer or a screen. I'm just gonna go. I'll, I'll reel off as many as I can remember of GTLDs. Right? and give you some idea of what's available for businesses. But I used to tell people, I used to tell, tell businesses, I said, you do realise your brand is a GTLD. They could care less. So that if I don't type that, if you don't type your business brand into a domain name registrar, someone like GoDaddy or they're the world's biggest, or Cedar or someone like that, yeah, and see what website address extensions are available in your brand, Someone is going to buy your brand at a GTLD, and there's not a lot you can do about it. But it takes half an hour of your time, which costs you whatever your time is worth to you, just to defend your brand, to protect your brand from other people buying your brand. It's very simple. And if there wasn't people actually trying to put spam links in my YouTube, I would actually open the comments and I would check, I would check your brand for you as a domain name, I would do it for you. I would check for free. But, there's too many spam links in me, in, in me YouTube, so I don't bother them, so I just close the comments, I'll see you can't. But I would have... I'm more than happy to help brands defend their brands by showing them which domain names infringe their brand or trademark. But, What's the point? I could care less and neither could I.